Hello, everybody, and welcome to Survivor with Jamie, Jack, and Colleen. My name is Colleen. I am Jamie. And I'm the sexiest dad that's never played Survivor. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, that was a good one. Thank you. <laughs> Didn't uh, see it coming. <laughs> uh, no, you know, I guess I, anyone I, could just say whatever they want. It doesn't matter. I saw both votes coming as they were happening. Because <laughs> Venus yeah. and Charlie are, they are so freaking melodramatic that it, it, when they're doing their back and forth and they're not even getting upset, right? Like they're just like, you know, reading the stage lines as written. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm watching her smile, Soda smile. And I'm like, yeah, I think so. this is a Soda blind side because they are such drama queens. <laughs> once, once you got the yes. second Soda vote, you knew it was her. Yeah, right. Because the only one that would have voted for it was Venus if it was just, and yeah, you knew it was that, happening. That's oh, the end. oh my God, she stole Tevin's credit for the move. Oh, it was to amazing. Be fair, to be looked, fair, though, do you think so she? Bad. Do you think that she like is claiming it, or do I mean like and kind of knows? But I, I think she just really does think it's all her move. I don't think she. Well, didn't She's Tevin vote for out. Venus? Yeah, because he was uh, splitting the votes. Yeah, because yeah, they were worried about shot in the dark or uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, I think she's gonna well, find she out he did it. Like, I don't think, I don't think she's even. I don't think she's even allowed to have conversations with other people. Um, <laughs> well, it was Soda that said you set me up, and she said yes. I mean, yeah, yeah. she said it was you, wasn't it? Because she doesn't talk with Tevin, so how would no. she know? Well, to be fair, Tevin doesn't speak with her. <laughs> like, nobody True. talks to her. And then when she does try to talk to somebody, then she gets the Maria conversation, which was really uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah with Venus and Maria? Well, she yeah. didn't get it either. Yeah. Ah, uh, to yeah. be 20. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, there. You know what? So much to talk about. Like this was a really good episode. Um, well, I, I like the fact that after she, they got back to camp, she's freaking out over one vote. Who cares? Right. It's well, we've seen vote. that happen before. We. I know. That happen I, it before. happens all the time, and I'm like going, if I got one vote, I'd be like, okay, now I gotta step up my game. I yeah. Well, by the way, someone over one vote when I'm still standing there. If it would have been like six votes. Right. I. Uh, yeah. Last week I gave uh, Venus some, you know, trouble for being a B, but um, the internet thought she was mother. Like all week, Twitter was just like Venus is mother. Yeah, because we she's stand queen. A, I'm like, wow. I'm kind of, you know, like, she's bringing different characters in a it's, game it's in been, which. Yeah, it's been a minute since U.S. has had a villain. You know, yeah. and. It, even though I wouldn't really categorize her as a villain, it's kind of the closest we've had. Right. Exactly. Again, exactly. she should go to the, she should go to the end because she probably can't win. You know, she should be safe every vote. I'm going to tell you though, she would. Do I don't know. I, she. I don't be, know if she. I, sorry. I, I think she would be really, really good at Big Brother. She would be an excellent. Big well, brother it's more, more age group too. Yeah, I don't know with Survivor it, when it moves. I think that the game moving as fast as it does really, really works against personality types like right. hers, who maybe start you off on the wrong foot because you're really mm -hmm. blunt. It doesn't give you room to like adjust your game very right. often. Well, you have to do it right um, away. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes it's just too late before you realize it. So. Well, you have to ask yourself after the second, if no one's talking to you, I need to change my approach. What am I doing wrong? Yeah. And no, Jackson really... Glaffelder, it shouldn't be two hours. <laughs> it should not be two hours. No, we don't need more two-hour episodes. No. Uh, I think that there is a chance, a case to be made for Venus at least getting votes. I don't think she, think I so? no longer think that she would be a zero-vote finalist. Because well, Soda's a, reaction to getting voted out really true. made me yeah. think like, oh, okay. Like they don't like her as a player or as a person in the game, but mm 
but they respect somebody out there is respecting the the game she's or you know the move she's making well especially if soda's convinced that it is was her move that was incredible i'm sorry that was i am screaming at that like oh my god <laughs> you just see tevin was like digging fingernails that, into his I, face but rule Poor number tevin. one is you take credit for anything yeah you do well there's no and way to, nah, it wasn't me. Say yes <laughs> sorry but you know what okay Look at it like this. The people that are sitting there that wrote down the votes, they know who was ultimately responsible for that move. And they know it's not Venus. So you just lay low and let it happen. Don't make it look like you don't push the idea that you're really good at this game and you can successfully remove people from the game. Let her take the credit. Let the target be on her. But the only problem And then is when you're sitting in front of the jury, claim it. The only problem is if soda, that might be too late. Because yeah, maybe. Most people, most people have the. I, I, I honestly believe most people have their vote ready before they get to final tribal. Oh, I agree. I, I, I don't think that minds are changed all the I'm time. Saying, I'm saying if soda I, goes, the next person coming out going, yeah, can you believe Venus was behind getting me out? Venus, and so it just keeps going and going and but going. But I and think plus, that I can see that. Yeah. Plus, plus you're also out of the game now so you're back you're you're where you're swimming at the beach drinking okay you're question not in though if you that if you were up against like if if it was at the end and it was tevin and soda battling or not soda i'm sorry tevin and venus battling it out in final three for the jury's votes uh, that, that would, would be, be the bitchiest tribal count final really, tribal really, ever. Really would. <laughs> it would have really it would, would be the, the sassiest, bitchiest mother off of all tribal it, counts. It final would be like bring, back, bring back Sue and make her the third person. It would <laughs> I, I feel like it would be like a you know, like a you know, like a real housewives reunion. That's what it would end up being like. Um but I think at that point, if those two were against each like against each other in jury, then or at the jury, I feel like Venus wouldn't have a chance in hell of being able to claim that move. Um, yeah. Not knowing I, I, what would come I, later. But if but it I was she, just... I, I would claim it, though. But if if they all think that... But they all think that Venus... I'm sorry. I think that Tevin wouldn't be able to protect himself in that situation because the entire jury would have spent all this time thinking she made the move. But if she was in jury... And, and Tevin was against somebody else, then he could very clearly claim that move. And then they would say, Venus, is that true? And if she had an ounce of integrity, she she would say, I, I learned it was true, that he did instrument it. Because Marianne made a lot of moves that everyone thought was somebody else's right. until jury. But, you but also, what if what if she makes what if she next week she does do they they go with her plan again they go with her plan her it's her plan. Then so now she's it's like be... then she said well then that they say how can you say well I think Tevin's just saying this to, I mean yeah you never want to have some you yeah. never want to have someone taking credit for your move when it comes to the jury. It's tough though because you also don't want to give yourself credit because we've watched that put right. people like, right in the line of fire exactly i guess it depends on who you're playing against you know like what kind of feel you have for the audience yeah mm. i it's it's crazy we'll see we'll see who, what happens who was it last year um oh it was um, um, um what's her name she she's like oh yeah like I, i'm the one who did this and they were like er, she's gotta go um i oh, can't remember uh, she started out really nasty and then yeah uh, yeah but then she's awesome. Yeah, uh, when she start, that, started, no, that was me. I was, I did that. I fooled him. That, I, oh, that was the end of her game. game. She's playing this game. So you never. Oh, yeah, you never right, who me. are we talking about? Oh my god, why am I blanking so hard? God, this is such bad Survivor podcasting. We are, we are all doing poorly on names. You know what? To, be, like to be fair, I have names. problems with names with every podcast I do, so I can't. Be that wrong. is very true. That's why you change your name at the beginning of every one. Exactly, because yep. I don't yep. know my own name. <laughs> you don't have to claim any responsibility then. That's the way to be. Emily. Emily. Oh, we love Thank Emily. You. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. That hurt yes. Emily's game. She has Emily an amazing is the true mother of us all. She really is. 
I mean, it, was great, it, 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 was, it was a great right. move, but she, you gotta, you know. Yeah. I, I probably is for my very squeaky chair right now. And I, I wouldn't, I don't know. This, this, does this cast just seem like particularly unhinged? Like it would, it would be really hard <laughs> to know who to say, like what to say to whom anyway in this game, but these guys specifically, like, it's pretty hard to get a read on there, there's anyone. A lot of I would imagine. There's a lot of strong egos in this game. A lot of yeah. because you you look at Tim. All Tim had to tell Q was, okay, yeah, I, but he didn't want to play someone else's game. But he's, I it, thought for sure that Q was going home. Like I thought they were going to blindside Q until we were in the middle of that tribal, and I was like, I'm not getting those reads. I I it, thought it when it, the two, when when, uh, when Tiffany and uh, Kenzie. Uh, Kenzie who has the most beautiful we're, tattoos as well, added to her hair and everything we're, else. We're talking, and I said, I go, no, it, it's too early because he's loyal. He might be a pain in the butt. He might be, you know, a dictator out there, but you still need the votes. Right. And they only had, they only had, they're yeah. only a party of three. So <laughs> they, they couldn't chop his, his, uh, legs out from under him yet so right i think they will down the road oh yeah I, I think he's gonna piss I, a lot of people yeah, off but right? i was like tim i go this is the wrong guy to argue with just say mm -hmm. just say okay yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, tim was tim was right hunter was the vote right you have a chance to get a player out late he was right you have well, to when, when he when he told q he's the strongest guy out here Oh, what? Ooh. I think I'm the better player. But, ooh. but ooh, Tim ooh, was wait, like, wait, wait, wait. I think, it. okay, so as for Q protecting Hunter, uh, Mike Bloom had put on Twitter, and I had forgotten all about this, that they have like a Mississippi connection. Yeah. So, and they're they, they the they're from the same area. So they've pr clearly hung out, like bonded over that. And I think that Q is actively protecting Hunter. Well, and he's also gonna... on the, the journey of six. Yep. That's what he was getting mad about. He goes, that's, that, that's yep. our, that's one of the six. That, yeah. Plus he wants to keep Hunter because he, Hunter's a meat shield, right? He is a meat shield. Yep. So the, there I, was so many reasons for him to keep him. He's one of the six. He's a meat shield. They have a bond. Uh, also, uh, Tim, Tim is like, maybe like Tim could express his opinions on things to other players and it would probably mm -hmm. be received really well. But Tim is like this, uh, almost infuriatingly casual player. Like everything he does is so low key, and he's being so low key up against the highest strong player at the moment. Like he's just go 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 go. He's so super intense. Uh, there was no way that was going to work because Tim already kind of got under Q's, you know, skin with the Maria thing, where he right. hadn't already sealed the deal with Maria. So. Oh, well, that's I think, right. I, I, I think the two, I think Q believed more in Hunter yeah. sticking oh, with the so alliance much. than Tim, because Tim, like you said, with Maria and today, and he kept saying, he's in our six. <laughs> he's in our six. <laughs> and I'm like going, and Tim goes, I don't care. He needs to go. <laughs> he's the best yeah. player. Yeah. And I'm like going, you're, you're 100% right. But at some point you have to survivor is a game. What's it? Uh, Sandra always says, he, just make it to the next round or whatever she says. Anyone but me. Anyone, Anyone but me. me. And, and, and that's the key. And, and if you sometimes you have to, you know, check your ego at the door and say, okay, yes. Even if you decide yep. to vote for Hunter. Yep. Right. You just tell him what he wants to hear. I really loved the the moment where we had Q and Kenzie and Tiffany all like arguing about the tim versus hunter of everything versus vet versus ben you know and they're all tossing it back and forth and they're getting like tiffany's getting like really frustrated with q and everyone's kind of getting a little bit snappy but it, yeah it was like the perfect parody of watching jam jam carolyn and carson like, yeah. <laughs> it was perfect well it was, was it kenzie said q i just i just we made a decision. It was Tim. I go get water. I come back, and now you're telling me it's Ben. I can't do this. Because I can some, imagine some how point frustrating. You just, you just want to make it an easy vote, right? Okay, it's Tim. We'll listen to anyone comes up and talks to us. We'll go. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm cool with that. I'm cool because you have the majority. Yep. 
Yep. You have the majority. Yeah. You have for the first time in the game, you yep. guys have the power. And he's just all over the he's a, he's a classic overthinker. And that's sometimes yes. when co- a lot of coaches cuz I know when I was co- I would do the same thing. I'd be like, "Don't don't, don't. you know, you're you got so much going on and your your brain's moving. I'm a classic overthinker anyway." But yeah. anyway. Yeah, well, you really? Yeah, shocking, but true. Um but I think he's the same way. He's like, "Oh, wait. Ben 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 looked at me and said, "Okay, well, yeah, whatever you want me to do." I didn't like that. I didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I go, he told you what you wanted to hear, and you're still not happy. Yep. Which it's- is why I think, yeah, Tim, as Sherry points out in the chat, Tim was not reading the room. No. But I right. feel like it's very difficult to read a room with Q, with other than he's a railroader. And with people like that, you just go, yes, honey, okay. And then You're talk right. to the other people around him. Are you patronizing me? No. <laughs> no, of course not. Definitely not. You are always right. I have a, I have a question. Um, what yeah. I have a question. Actually, I have two questions involving Q. One. Okay. Do Do you believe that he purposely threw the challenge or no. not? Oh, hell no. He was saying that because he's so competitive. He was trying to save face for being the first or second person Okay, out. okay. I didn't want okay, anyone what would to be, know. What would be the logic? Right when he said, I go, okay, what's <laughs> the logic in that? You could go home. I mean, there's there's no reason to throw that challenge. Plus, you're hurting your team because you're not you're going to go the, the voting first if you if your team goes out first. And you're not getting the, the reward. There you is could no, go home, there is, right? There's no, not, there's, there's, there's no possible logic. I, I wanted to see what my team would do. I, I am a do. very, what? very <laughs> firm believer that if there is a contestant or a team that is going to throw a challenge, we will get the conversation and the edit before the challenge happens that they're going to throw it. Yeah, it, yeah. It, Anything it, else? It made, it's it, made a lie. it made zero sense to do it. Now, Tim, Tim was. I thought he was the Karate Kid there for a while. I was waiting him to do the crane. Uh, <laughs> can we talk about that challenge? That challenge was, was so fun. Yeah. There like, was a lot usually, of really I'm, sh- I'm shocked the two women went the longest on it. I'm just shocked. Oh, you know what's really funny you say that? Is oh oh you being sarcastic? Yes. Okay. Cause when that when that started, Jay was like, Oh, a woman's gonna win this. And Zach was yeah. like, why? He's like, because men are men suck at this challenge. And I'm like, it, it, actually, it, it, we have some men that are have done very well historically through it, but yes. It, it's I, supposed to, it's just women, I guess it's just have better balance on that. Right. Now Ben, is he supposed to be like a surfer? Any yeah. of the viewers that any of the viewers that have a keen eye would have told you that a woman was going to win it because on the next week on Survivor from last week, there was a shot of Kenzie wearing the immunity idol. Oh, was there? Was there? Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that. I didn't either. The internet told me, but. Uh, oh, um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's clear. It's really clear. Like, oh, yeah. In the real, in it, it definitely got crap. it. <laughs> okay. Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Survivor promo team. But no, that yeah. was super fun. Like the alphabet game, uh, freaking <laughs> Charlie trolling Q. <laughs> oh yeah, Cincinnati. Charlie, gets a, Charlie Cincinnati. has an amazing, uh, like e- Baltimore, you know, like evil face, right? Like when Charlie makes the, he gets like a Jim Carrey thing going on, like when he starts. Oh my to god, get yeah. And Charlie should have been the vote again. Why, yeah. why, are keeping, why are we keeping him around? Because I just think that it's... A- on, so both Soda and... and uh, um, well, I just, I've just said his name 10 times a day. I get, uh, Tevin. Tim? Tevin. Te- oh, they, they've said, oh, I trust Charlie. I love Charlie. And Charlie voted the, the other way. I mean, it's just like... I don't know. Unless Tevin really knew Soda was going home and didn't want anyone playing their shot in the dark or whatever that is. Yeah, I, yeah. I, he was just splitting that vote up. Splitting that vote. But yeah, that challenge was really, really fun. Um, I loved the what up, Jeff. And, you know. Yes. I, 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 I didn't know that meant to tell me the time. I, I got to be honest with you. <laughs> I, I, I didn't, didn't either. either. Jeff had no. no clue either. So I had no clue. now he knows. <laughs> Isn't it easier <laughs> to say, hey, Jeff, what's the time? <laughs> I I, I I love it that it was tested you know like we're going to give you the knowledge and then there's going to be a test in a minute 
And, and I li- Tim I like tested what him. Q said, I, I can't say anything because my dad said I lost something to just keep my mouth shut. Then he opened up his mouth. Oh, and yeah. and said, <laughs> what did your my dad tell said- you? <laughs> yes, that was hilarious. What do you say? I wrote it down. My daddy said if I ate in a fight, shut up. And then, <laughs> and then when he's teasing Tim, that's when he said it back. Yeah, super fun. <laughs> yeah, it was a it was a fun it was a fun challenge. I was like, it was really it was fun. A lot of fun. They've never had to go to one foot, have they? Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I don't know how long they usually last to get to one foot. It seems like in that challenge, as soon as one person falls, they all start falling pretty quick because that makes movement in the water. Yeah. I can't well, remember. Yeah. I was watching the I had the pottery game on with no sound, but I was watching Survivor and I kind of went up like this. And I come and I when they showed the flashback, I go, Oh my god. It's like four or five people <laughs> fell out. I go, What right off the bat? <laughs> I said, how bad you are look these away for one second and you're I time know. traveling i know one second yeah no it was the the whole thing was it, yeah because usually like you know jamie as you had said when we were talking beforehand oh, i can't skip through this and i'm like no don't there's so much yep. there it's very yeah within within 30 seconds of it i was like ah, i've got to stay this is going really good <laughs> i got <laughs> to park it So, okay, my other question about Q is, yeah. okay, you know what, Tribal, and then he just, like, started, like, going off about how awesome Kenzie is? Yes. Do you you think think, that they had a combo? No, I think it was to make Tiffany paranoid. You oh you think it was me okay all right so I you do. think it was a setup I I, do. I kind of was feeling like maybe he saw that Kenzie was getting like irritated with his constant changing and so like they had a little I don't think I don't think combo. Q reads people that well I think that yeah, he was you make doing a that really good now, point was though was in on that I mean was uh, Kenzie in on that you think or just no, no. I think that t- at, uh, Q spotlighted. Kenzie in the middle of tribal council because he because he He's saw so that that Ben was doing that as well and I think he wanted to lay right. the work to piss off Tiffany. Okay, to, yeah, so I, that way he could okay. be like why she's going places. You can't why take do you her. Piss, you don't why win. do you want to piss off somebody in your alliance <laughs> this early? Be, in the oh, game. Piss her off not against Q, but to make Tiffany paranoid. So that way right. he could then have a conversation with Tiffany two or three days from now and be like, Kenzie is winning everybody's hearts. If you go to yep. the end with her, there's no way okay. she can't be I your see. number two. Yeah. And it's getting everybody else's eyes on her because yeah, they can all sit there and smile and be like, Oh, that's so nice. You're saying such nice things. Yeah. We all love Kenzie, but inside they're like, she's got to go. She's got to go. Like she's, it's like, it's she's like being too to much go. agency. She has to go. Yes. Soda was too personable. She had to go. I still yep. would have waited. I, I would have got Charlie out, but that's just me. Charlie yeah. has a beard now, though, so he's yeah, gained he... authority, and they're afraid. Oh of yes, him. he looks I like saw... he's twenty-five now. <laughs> I saw on Twitter that you are very taken with his island beard. So you I think he's island hot I now? Um, I don't. I have a feeling of uh, maybe not so much the super hot thing, but more of the like, all right, there's a man there now. He's going to take care of business. He's going to play this game. We're not going to sit it's and talk like, about friendship bracelets anymore. We're going to get tough right now. Like it's almost like Superman and Clark. His hands Kent. Together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because you don't recognize bearded Charlie. No, you don't. Who's, <laughs> who's this guy? Who's you don't know. You don't know him because uh, at the beginning of it, Charlie, and all of a sudden he gets that little five o'clock shadow. You go. Yep. And you are. Who are, are you? Yeah. In, in who's this fella? <laughs> hey guys, this guy seems to know what he's doing. We should listen to him. Yeah. He's my alter ego. <laughs> Charles, <laughs> Charles. Well, we had Charlie, but Whoa, clearly Lois. someone invented invited Charles to the party. Uh, yeah, uh, one of the best yeah. jokes oh, I, I saw on Twitter during the challenge was uh, people just joking that he would be like, "I got it," and then start naming Taylor Swift songs instead of mm-hmm. instead of cities. <laughs> that would have been, been funny. Yeah. Well, that's listen. That's something that. Charlie would do, but we have Charles now. Yes. And, and at the end of the game, perhaps he'd be, he'd be putting Mozart or Beethoven. <laughs> yes, he's in charge of his own game. We're gonna yeah, have Charles. Chuck come in and win the game. Charles in charge of <laughs> Thank our you, game. And <laughs> oh our no. Own. Oh no. <laughs> I want 
<laughs> but it is interesting though. I to used see to watch how... it. I'm sorry. I, 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 I know I, you I, did. I, I shouldn't have set you up. For I it. had kids and they would. Okay. Or I, I watch it by myself. Too. I don't know. <laughs> I think I think that Charlie is around, going to be around for a bit. He's got Maria's yeah. prote- sure protection, and, yeah. and he just now. he seems a bit untouchable at the he's moment. Get, so his hair needs to be a little bit less kept before he can move into Chuck phase. Okay, I got it. I got it. Well, Chuck Norris's hair was always. He's got to get a little more, uh, a little more wild. Okay, I for a second I want to talk about Ben and I want to talk about Liz because all right. Liz. All of a sudden had people like coming up to her yeah. to heaven and being like, so here's this information. Can I have a loan? I want <laughs> <laughs> to show you my five-year business plan. Yes. Okay. That was pretty funny. Thank you. Um, <laughs> um, no, but like, I honestly, uh, I thought it's fascinating. Like Liz has more capital in this game than I think we previously gave her credit for. I, I like that pun. I like that capital. Yeah. You're yeah, welcome. It works well for Liz. You bet. Thank you. <laughs> you bet Thank I have you. more capital. She doesn't need the capital. <laughs> She's just wall. there to prove her, her daughter that she could get the capital if she wanted to. Yeah. It's but... just a bet. It's all a dare, guys. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a dare. Um, I didn't know she like, didn't like soda. Did we Did we ever see that before? Uh, I think or, we did see it at some point that she. I, I, she's. I feel hard like. To remember. I feel like if we oh, were to we were rewind, with Mariah. If, yeah. if we were to rewind for to like maybe the first two challenges, and if we looked at Liz's face while Soda was screaming at everyone on the top of her lungs, we could have probably seen it at that point. No, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Not fair, fair. Um, and then Ben. So Ben has this panic attack. Which are which are a serious thing. I mean, which are a serious thing, and it's it, crazy when that you it was wake captured. Up out of them. <sighs> yes, crazy I've, that it was I've captured actually, on I've camera. I've actually done that a couple of times, so it's like yeah, same. Yeah, I'm that's dying. that's yeah, that's a place. That's a place you don't want to like wake up and find yourself in the sand on an island like that. Yeah. Is, with none of your regular comfort around. I need help. 100% agree. And people are going. <laughs> Uh, well, if he gets met, uh, there'll be one less vote person going home. I'm today. like, I don't want anything bad to happen to Ben, but I guess I'll get a point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but like that was really that was really sweet and caring. I mean, yeah, I want to say that most people, I would honestly, I would say that 90 percent of players would go to him because, oh yeah, at the heart of it, we're all decent people, right? Especially like, in the new generation of survivor (laughs) you know like the first 10 years they just would have let him flop yeah (laughs) yeah you you tell me in the last you know six years five years that at least 40 percent of these these survivors they've all experienced panic attacks like and we know about them and we can talk about them and we can get medication and therapy and all of these things it used to be like said i know yeah 15, 20 years ago, there's no way you'd even talk about it. No, uh uh-uh. I mean, mean, could you imagine waking up with a panic attack and rolling over and seeing Rudy? Like, (laughs) that man ain't helping you. Some kind of homosexual, get off of me. That's exactly what he would do. (laughs) Exactly what he would say, too. Yep. You know, I I like it, but not in that kind of way. Not that kind of way. Get away from my toothbrush. (laughs) Thank God we have evolved as a society. That is all I've got to say. Thank God. Rudy was fun. Come on. Rudy was fun. He was real. Rudy, thanks to all the things you've done to help our country out and to give us the laughs. (laughs) It probably did help. I don't. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. But it's it's true. Like these, most of the people there, I think. Would be very understanding and you know production has picked softer more emotionally aware people mm-hmm. um so i think he would have been in good hands no matter what but i do really enjoy the fact that it was just on a storytelling part that it was kenzie that somebody in the first few episodes of this game like myself included uh there was this idea that she was kind of a snot maybe like a little snotty or snooty um, mm-hmm. So it's, I, I like getting to see this part of her that's more understanding and um, right. willing to reach out. It, it I, plus, I you know, I, go ahead. 
No, no, you go first, please. No, no, go ahead. Nope. Okay. Nope. Padre fans. I thought, I thought Kenzie did make one mistake at Tribal when she said that's my job in the real world. I work with people and bring getting to you know, getting to work. I'm if I'm playing Survivor, I'm sitting, I'm like going, all right, she could work the jury, she could do this, she could I I thought that was a big mistake on her part. I, I would I would never would have told people what, if that's what I do for a living, I wouldn't have told people because you don't want to have that target on your back that you're good at making friends right working in road you know the whole thing so i thought that was a mistake on her part i thought that she i mean i guess there was there's probably more to her bio that i've forgotten i just remember her being a salon owner she actually yeah. zachary remembered zachary said when we started the challenge zach said oh kenzie will do good at the challenge she's a yoga instructor and hair and hair cutter owner and i, I was love like, that. Oh, cute that <laughs> And that's what she should have stuck oh. with because. Well, yeah. remember that her psychic is the one that told her that she should be on Survivor. So, yeah. So. Mm. Well, didn't Parvati say that after she got off of her first round of Survivor that her psychic told her to go back and she'd win? Yep. Be, be more flirty. <laughs> <laughs> yep, get that get that beautiful smile flashing on the screen, babe. You All right, got I, can't, it. I can't vote for poverty this week. She smiled at me. I'm sorry, I can't. I okay. can't do it. Oh my god, she smiled at me. <laughs> can't do it. Uh, okay, so I think Maria's in a good spot. I think Charlie's in a really good yeah. spot. I don't know about Ben. I, you know, I, I feel like he might be in a good spot for now. Uh, Look, Hunter with, has Q's protection. I think the problem with Ben is is they're labeling him. They they think he's a super threat. He hasn't won any challenges, but he's very he's a social he's, threat. But, he, but he's very social. He's got, right. very, he has a strong social game. So, but is that enough to carry him home? I don't. Especially if you go in. Do with, you think that I don't a think lot of people left have a, a strong social game? Right. Do you think how what is his relationship with Maria? Has he formed one yet? Because I'm kind of wondering if the six don't pull him in, the five, <laughs> to, I, to make the six again. I would, because I think he's yeah. loyal, and he's friends with Charlie. So, and he he displayed some emotional vulnerability tonight, mm -hmm. which I think primes him for being approached for a loyal position yeah. somewhere. Cause he's, you know? well, he's already in good with Kenzie. Yep. Um, I think that even though it made Q really nervous, it's, it seems like Q is somebody who, because he, he's just naturally a coach. Like he just naturally wants to push people to do excellent work. Um, if, if Ben it's is what he open it's to what he that. That's what he knows. Yeah. And if Ben's open to that like i just think that would immediately attract him to him and, and it's kind of like that he'll do what i say it's that but maybe not quite so with yeah. such a, a vindictive spin but it's definitely like he'll listen to what i have to say i can convince him to make the moves where he needs to he'll follow me lost him strong ally so we shall see I mean, again but he's really good and tight with charlie right i, I think charlie's think, in a very think, good I, spot I, I, I don't think Maria liked that he was tight with Charlie. What that Ben was tight with Charlie, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, what about but then you've got Maria. You have to think about Maria because there's there's no way. Okay, if I got pulled into a secret six alliance and then they come back from the votes and my number one is gone, there's no way I'm keeping that secret six secret. No. <laughs> Yeah. Like everyone's she, know to be fair, it. she was never really in it. So right, right. Not entirely, yeah. So because it was a secret six of just the guys, basically. It really, yeah. I mean, so <laughs> it, it really didn't have anything to do with Maria. So yeah, I'm I she's a smart player and she's good at the challenges. So yep. She she could win it all. Good. She's my winner's pick. I think honestly, <laughs> after tonight, I truly think that Kenzie has the winners at it. Gosh, right? I'm she has the winners at it, but I think people are going to wise up and say, I can't beat her. She's so charismatic, though. Especially after she won a challenge yeah. now. Okay, did you guys see... I'm sure, Jack, you probably didn't, but maybe Colleen did. Did you see the um, 
the conversations going around about the idea that there's something to the season logos giving away the winners. No. Like they predict the winners. So if you like go back to the last, the last like maybe four seasons, you know, every, all they have a silhouette of somebody on them or three somebodies, or they always have like a silhouette of a person and the silhouettes match up with the winners loosely. <laughs> loosely. But Shut up. I just but Google like survivor logos. Her, but don't they make those logos before the game starts? They do, but that's why there's a conspiracy that they're prophetic. Like, like oh. so we look at the one for this season. Okay, hold on. Let me pull it up. Let me pull this up. Hold yeah, on. Pull it up. The one for this season totally looks like it would be Tiffany, Q, and Kenzie. It's it's pretty funny if you go back and look at them. Okay. Uh so we gotta go to like Okay, here's oh. let's look at 45. Okay. Who won last season? D. Well, yeah, it does kind of look like D, huh? Sort of. It's so chick. What do we have for 44? I don't remember what 44s was. D and, and the, the guy she uses laying on the ground. Okay, <laughs> millennial <laughs> Austin. <laughs> okay, let's look at Millennials versus Gen X, which just opened on a different screen. Hold on. That's a good uh, one, guy. Yeah. Uh, so that would have been the first place was Adam Klein, right? Yes. Uh, Gosh, that okay. seems so long ago. <laughs> so it was so long ago. ago. Okay, hold on. Um, Let's see. Survivor 46. I, I was young then. I used to be young. Okay, so is this what you're talking about, Jamie? Yeah, yeah. This yeah. logo? Okay. I, I can't so see it. It's got three yeah, silhouettes on. on it. Survivor season 46 logo. This it. There we go. Yep. Right. Yeah. The the huh. blue one. All right. Let's see. Can you guys see this? Did this get bigger on your screen too? Yeah, I can. Oh, no, I Sorry. Can. JK. JK. Okay. So who do you think that it looks like? The, people are tossing around that it's Kenzie, Tiffany, and Q. Um, that is not I, cute. I, but if I, you, I see I, Kenzie I, I, and I, Tiffany, sure. I but see Charlie. I, I, I think I was it's Charlie. Say, Charlie in the middle, right? Yeah, that's who I see as yeah. Charlie. Oh, so, okay. You think that this right here is Charlie? I yes. would say that's Char that's how but, Charlie. That's how he was. He was standing uh, today. Okay, with the, this when is he was Kenzie. Today. Who else? Uh, it wouldn't be Venus because Venus is taller than Charlie, right? Right. It well, this be could be the thing where they're further behind. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this looks like Kenzie, right? That's well, what they're saying. Of, this could be Hunter. I think Hunter. Right yeah, yeah, that looks like Hunter to me. I'm gonna go with Hunter. Interesting. See, I can't. See, I can't see anybody letting somebody like Hunter get all the way to the end. What and about, you think that this, this is? You guys think, that's, think this that's, Char that's Charlie? Okay, I don't see Charlie. That's Kenzie, and that's that's Hunter. But again, this would have to be a prophecy because when they walk into camp, that exact picture is on their sign. Yeah. Wait, what? What exact picture? This. Excuse this me. Logo, Sorry, what? Like, this logo <laughs> is literally what's on their tribe sign when they walk into camp. Okay, so now nine was, out of pay attention to that next season. And then it go. What season was Gabler's? Was that 42? 43. Yeah, 44. 44. Four, yeah, it had to be 40. Wait, no, no, no. That was 43 because 44 was Yam Yam. Jam Jam. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, Jam yeah. Jam. 45 was D. So Survivor 44. Okay, let's see. Did I say 44? 43. 43. All right. There you go. Yeah, the one with the with the squid or the octopus. See, it's Gabler. Yeah, Is it? Gabler. I don't see Gabler. How are you guys seeing Gabler in here? Yeah, he's I, wearing I, the hat. Gabler's hat. Yeah. Wait, where? And the, and the, and the who won second? That's a ponytail. <laughs> On uh, Cassidy won second. Remember? <laughs> Did she have a ponytail? She had long blonde hair or long. She had really hair. cool pants. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And that's that's long blonde hair. Do you think that this is Gabler? I think that's yeah. Gabler because the hat. Totally. Yep. Survivor. Oh, he's wearing kind of, I just he's wearing kind of boots there, right? Yeah. See, it's Gabler. It's Gabler. I see. I would never get hat from that. Wow, <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of crazy. It's it's my mind ridiculous, so but 
like all things with prophecy, survivor prophecy. So We've all, moved right all, past the all scripted. Right past the winner's edit and jumped into prophecies. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you move over, Edgic. We don't need Edgic anymore. Yeah. No, we don't. I wasn't now a that, believer until now. I'm a believer. Now that we have Kenzie until psychic on face. the job. And I saw her silhouette. Now I'm a believer. <laughs> well darn. Now I now I want to change my pick to Kenzie. <laughs> The sign. I asked for a sign and I got one. Oh my God, though. Seriously. It's weird. It's so weird. And I thought, oh, maybe they are kind of giving it away. But then in tonight's episode, they go walking into camp and it's right there. Like the picture's right there. How did they know beforehand? What the picture was going to be? Wait, gonna so wait, be the, 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 the logo, the logo that we just saw yep. is on camp with the silhouettes. Yep. Yeah. You know, you know what? Okay. You know when she had to measure the sign goes out. There you go. Okay. It's, it's, no, no, we're we're getting into we're getting go, into terror go, go to, conspiracy we're, territory. We're to ben win, and we'll see if Ben was the one on there. Because we okay. know they wanted Ben to win. Okay. Also, did anybody see Kate Middleton on the picture of the flag? <laughs> Is she on the logo too? Did we finally find her? She's not uh, there. She's not on this <laughs> island. <laughs> You have to be, a, uh, can you be British and be on American Survivor? I don't know. Sure, why not? You can be Canadian. If you're a princess, you can literally do whatever you want. That's, that's true. true. That, uh, yeah, that's true. She'd have guards there saying, if you know, if someone <laughs> got too close to her, ah, get, get back from the, the princess. Okay, so princess. Survivor season 40 logo. So Ben was season 40. Was it, um, not, I thought it was longer. That's it. No, okay. that wasn't. No, no. Forty was winners at. No, thirty nine was winners at war. Forty it's a, it's was winners at war. I thought forty it's, it's was a, winners at war. It's a logo Shoot. of a guy. It's a logo of a guy holding like twenty uh, immunity idols. <laughs> <laughs> He's just. He just looks really lumpy. It's just. <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't know. Well, so, okay. I don't know. So he was also on. That's what I'm thinking of is, uh, shoot. It doesn't matter. No, it does not matter. But I'm curious now. <laughs> right? I'm it's just... a it's a really weird, it's a weird rabbit hole to go down. But I don't know. It's it a weird rabbit hole. Okay. Any last thoughts before we move on? Soda. What do we think about that soda vote real quick? I, again, I, I would have gone for Charlie, but soda, it's not a bad vote. Because it's not a bad vote. Because of a social game, it's not a bad vote. Yeah. I felt bad. I felt bad for both of them. They both I felt so oh, they bad. both cried. It was that was so heartbreaking. Two, two blind sides, two crying, like actual crying, not like annoying crying. Like this it sucked. That really sucked for both of them. Yeah. But. Yeah. I mean, Soda tried to put on a brave face, but she just, you know. Oh, it's I, I just, I have a lot of empathy for that. <laughs> I, uh, yes. I, I truly understand the laugh through the tears aspect. And she is, she's such a, like, she's such a good sport. She's so competitive, you know, as she's screaming at everybody. She's really right. competitive, but uh, she seems <laughs> to be a, a pretty damn good sport. And well, at least she made the jury because we'll get this every jury. Yes. Yes. We'll get the facial expressions and that's what yeah. they wanted. And I don't know what's going to go down. Uh, next episode. Next week, yeah. but this has it, never happened at Tribal before. I think we're going to get a good Jeff glare out of it, at least. <laughs> I don't know. I both of them had very classy exits, but it yeah. was very, yeah. it was sad. It was sad. Tim, and I, did, yeah, did Tim, get a, did Tim get an ending conversation? He did it on the bridge where he said, "I'm the the hottest dad to play the game." Oh, that's right. That's right. What am I talking about? <laughs> Use you literally you. ripped him and then forgot all about it. Yeah, you're the dilf. He's the I, dilf on the yeah. I, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> Again, I like I said, I forget my own name at times. Yeah, it's been proven. All right. Yeah, let's take a quick break. Uh, when we come back, we've got an email from Mandy, and then we'll do the tally of the votes. Um, so, all right, are you ready? Yeah. All right. Thumbs up, everybody. Here we go. 
All right, we are back. We're ready to get into the feedback. Our uh, we have an email from Mandy. Mandy. And Mandy, Mandy says, <laughs> "Is Kenzie the first person to make a bow out of her buff? It's super cute." Yeah, I it's noticed, adorable. I, I noticed that. I'm I'm I'm, I'm 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 sad. I did, but I noticed that. It no, like don't be sad. It looked like something you'd see at Disneyland. You know, with, uh, with like <laughs> it, bow and ears. it did. It did kind of have it, Disneyland vibes. It, it was super cute. Like, it it rings very like Joja Siwa, like it's like big bows, dance moms. We're going for it. She's trying to yeah. get. She's trying to get that uh, Disney endorsement. Uh, Venus uh, continues. I'm sorry, Mandy continues. Venus would have been a great mayor of Ponderosa, but I'm sure Soda will do all right yes. as yes. well. We'll yeah, never know. No That's true. No, Soda's we'll Soda's know. in the jury. No, no, no. no but we the don't Ponderosa. get Ponderosa. Oh, that's right. Oh, every year it's a disappointment, right? Every yeah. year, Rosa. I genuinely enjoyed watching those. Sometimes it was the best part of the show. Yeah, <laughs> there were some seasons. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and then she finishes up for a very heavy strategy for a very heavy strategy heavy episode. I'm shocked. I didn't have more to add to all the amazing things. I'm sure you've already said. Thanks, Mandy. Thank Mandy. you. Um. One. Just one. That's all there is. And, that's and all she there managed is. to she managed to throw that in there like right away following the episode because she's a trooper. She did. She's a trooper. A all trooper. right, moving over to the tally the votes. Um, as far as I believe last week we worked out that if any of the people that we predicted people would get points. So Tim, Tim, Tim went home. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, Jack gets a point because he had him making the merge. Unfortunately, Jamie and I had him final three. Mm. So, ow, ow, oh, ow. womp, womp, womp. <laughs> God, I feel so bad for you guys. Oh, a casual man. twin sting. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just not a game. It's just you know, it's just personal sometimes. Oh my God. <laughs> um. Yeah. So poor Tim. I really liked him. Yeah. Uh, you know what vibes he had? And Jack, you might know. Jamie, I don't think you would. He reminded me of Rob Francesini. He had very Rob vibes. Just like that mm. that kind of Rob-coded energy. Yeah. Um, you know, I, anyway. Uh, moving over to uh, this. Jamie and I both get points for saying that Tim was going to go. So wait, Jamie, you have five already? One, two, three, four. No, you yep. have four. Okay. I Do I? I, thought I, I think I had five. I thought I had four last week. I don't know. No. I don't have the whole thing written down. Just my name. <laughs> Tallying votes right behind my name. That's this all I got. Week seven. This is week seven. So the whole thing was you get a point for each person. Oh, you I got see them in, in order. Then it was three people. I saw Tim. I go, what are you talking? Oh, that's right. So nice Jack week. gets a point for soda. Soda, soda, soda. So everybody gets a point. So Jamie and I both have five. Jack has seven. Uh, hmm. Who do we think is going home next week? I couldn't tell you. Um, I guess I have to. I'm going with <laughs> Q. I think Q is going to, I think Q is wearing out his welcome. No, nah, they'll keep him around a little longer. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. All right. It might be Tevin. I'll go with Tevin. Ooh. And of course, yeah. Venus will take Ooh. credit for it. <laughs> As she should. She she might be the if one. If they're gonna offer it to her, her, then go for it. <laughs> if she if she can take him out, then she becomes a favorite in the game. Mm. I think she's already a fan favorite. Twitter loves her. Uh she Jamie. Is. I am having a little bit of a battle in my head because just based right, talk off it out, of, talk it out. Just based off of with nothing else other than what we had tonight. And what the like five second clip is of tribal next week. Okay. I have it set in my mind that Jeff's reaction is going to be some reaction towards Tevin and Venus. I feel like the two of them, this is where the tit for tat starts. So hmm. is it going to be Venus or is it going to be Tevin? And so I'm trying to think of, I, I have to say, I think that it's going to be Venus based off of how everybody else feels about her and nothing else. So, Venus, 
See, I don't know. I feel like Tevin's smart. Tevin I is know, it's being so like, I'm going to play a big game. Here's where my game has to start. I got to do this, this, and this. And that's generally the pride that cometh before the fall. It's really true. How close, but he is good with Maria, right? And because Maria said, I'm, I'm close with Tevin. I, I think, though, it's got to be a guy. Yeah. Yeah. Because the all-girl right. alliance is falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Um, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to say Venus. Why not? You're going to say Venus? All right. Yeah, I'll stick with it. All right. So Jamie has Venus, Jack has Tevin, and I have you. Well, there we have it. Uh, any last thoughts about the episode? Um, yes. One yes, last thought. Go. I hope yes. that when when Tim gets to Ponderosa, the poor man can finally poop. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's okay. why I was so frustrated with the uh, cute. <laughs> Look, I haven't pooped in weeks. You're me. I am just bound up. I want to go home. <laughs> I am sure that they have some probiotics at Ponderosa. Just a little bit of kombucha and coffee, and he's going to be right as rain. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Woo. Thank you all better. for listening. Thank this was a fun episode. I'm glad that they're, we're they're like, Tim, you didn't have up. to go in the ocean. You have bathrooms here. <laughs> but he wanted to be, he, it's a survivor experience. You want to poop in the ocean, right? So. I don't want to poop in an ocean ever. <laughs> it's not on your bucket list. I, I think if I'm on it's Survivor, not. I, think, I think if I'm on Survivor, I'm I'm gonna have to poop in the ocean, whether I'm. Is it like a natural not. bidet? Yeah, I I just, so. Now I, you know what? Now more than ever, I really want you to get on Survivor because I just want to see that one second where you're in the background beelining for the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I beeline for the ocean. I forget that they're snorkeling out there. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> My bad. I mean, it's been wait. weeks. <laughs> okay. Doesn't poop float though? So when I was in Generally. Puerto Rico once. <laughs> yes, I know. They're shooting the spear gun at the poop. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, oh, of that fish. <laughs> that's gross. It was so <laughs> No, look, okay. Look, I, I would... look what I got for dinner. It looks like crap, but it's tasty. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm crappy. gonna throw up. Not a okay. No, because I okay. Listen, I went to Puerto Rico when I was a kid a couple of times, and one of these occasions, um, somebody took a dump in the ocean, and the poop was like floating by. Oh and I'm not kidding. I remember this very. Keep it. No, 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 no. So I'm just saying, like, why would you poop in the ocean if it poop floats? Well, you poop and run. Maybe that's what you. <laughs> You're gonna have to start <laughs> swimming away from it immediately. Yeah. It's like a pee. Nobody knows who did it. It just the water gets warm. Yeah. Like in this case, people, it it's, it's like the older people that swim at our our community pool. All of a sudden, you go. They just walked by me, and the water got really warm. Come on. <laughs> Come on. That's disgusting. Yes. Um, okay. Well then, uh, I think guys, we've got we've got our plan set. I will never poop in an ocean, and that's on Jack's bucket list. So there we go. Well, no, it's on my bucket list to do it on Survivor. On Survivor. I've I've been in the ocean a number of times. Okay. I've never, <laughs> like, I've never, I've never I poop in the ocean all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, I'm on my it's boogie so board. Boring have... now. It's nice and relaxing. <laughs> I've poked in the ocean so many times. I'm it's floating. A ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Good. my. Uh, I'm just, then they bring uh, a okay. sign saying, okay, the beach is closed and we got some pollution in here. <laughs> well, if you're not from San Diego, you don't know. It happens all the Tijuana River always runs into the ocean. Mm, yes, I knew that. Yeah, I'm just really have, pleased that we, could, that we could close out another Survivor podcast talking about poop. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like our thing at this point. You know, I, can, um, I can see the one star review now. These guys are really crappy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a shit podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. On that note, everybody, thank you for listening and seed. Thank you to the patrons, especially the ones that contribute to a certain level. And that would be Eckhart Rickner, Maggie the Magnificent, Joanne with a plan, and Ed the Creepy Poopy Head Mailman. Woo! Oh. Ed the Creepy Poop in the Ocean Head Mailman. 
<laughs> Here's your mail. Because <laughs> you know most mail is just it's just crap mail anyway, right? So it's not tree mail, it's sea mail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the survivor contestants go, we got we got tree mail. I got it in the ocean. <laughs> Who wants to read it? <laughs> oh my god. Um, All right. Well, no, on that note, if you'd like to be a patron, patreon.com slash uh, uh, <laughs> I believe Shandy and anyone got uh, a toothbrush? <laughs> in comes Rudy. Get away from my toothbrush. <laughs> you guys in your crap. <laughs> I believe Jamie and Shandy and I are doing another girls uh, girls podcast for the bonus show yes. for the patrons uh, <coughs> that will be out this week. I think we're All recording right. it tomorrow if we can figure out a time. I would carry over with the poop talk myself. I just, I, you know, I let's lead with it's it. a winner. <laughs> yeah, we are. It's a win. It's a win. That's what people are, are patreoning for poop talk. More of it. You know, um, people, you know, it's funny. It's some people could be listening to us as they're pooping. <gasps> oh, that's so meta. That, uh, yeah. <laughs> no. I mean, it's, it's an hour podcast. You know, you don't have to stop. You just you know go and do what you have that's to do. That's true. You don't have to mute it if you're just listening. You know. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Okay. Well, on that note, guys, have a great night. Happy um, pooping. Happy <laughs> pooping. Uh, poop my name is poop Col- free and easy. Poop free and easy. My name is Colleen. I'm Jamie. I'm Jack. <laughs> You're gonna think of you were trying to think of a poop joke. I was trying to think of a poop joke, but it was it just happened too fast. I, I got I gotta run. That's all I can tell you. No. Okay, fine. Well, the, the tribe used to have the joke, poop in the ocean. Because remember when uh, Bryce Isaiah said he would like to poop in the ocean? So we used to sing poop in the ocean, like the cake song. That's yeah. actually that's disgusting. I know. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>